everybody got their own way of doing stuff. Uh, but if you want to release and relieve the pressure for the fuel on your LS4, what I did, I took a uh, gas funnel here and I brought it in from this side here. You can't bring it up from this way. You have to bring it in this way. Wedge it in, get, a, get you a nice little, uh, you know, thing of shop towels. Probably should even have a little bit more stuff here. And, um, you know, I kind of taped a little cup up here so it can spew out. And uh, you can take a, you know, something to, to poke and depress the, uh, the, the, the valve, just like how you would do if you're letting out air out of a tire. Uh, taking this little Allen wrench and just depressing it. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Nothing. Let's see here. I have it depressed in. Hmm. Nothing. Well. Why is nothing coming out? I don't know, but we're going to find out when we disconnect this. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm gonna take this and saw this saw because I'm not gonna relocate this man. I just don't wanna do that.
Now, let me talk to you guys about this alternator bracket, okay? And this is specifically for the guys who's doing truck and take swap on the uh, LS4. Look at this bracket. Pay attention to this. You see that? I still got a lot of this bracket left. A lot of you guys are going in. Get, don't get pissed off at me, man. But a lot of you guys are taking your Dremel and you're cutting here and then you're going all the way down and taking this all this out. Now, I know you guys want to make more than sure and I, and I understand that, but you don't have to cut all this shit right here. I mean, look how much, look all the bracket I have left. And yes, I have fitted this intake in here I don't know how many times. I seen one video where one guy cut it so far up here that all you seen was a little bit of the damn boat hanging out. And then he went in here and it's like, you, you don't have to do all that. These levels here, I cut into this a little bit, didn't need to do it. The second level, which is this right here, yeah, I went in a little bit on it just to make sure the top level, as you can see, eh, yeah, I cut it a little bit, but it's, you know, I'm, I mainly had to address this area right here. Well, I'm about to put my uh, power steering reservoir in. Um, the only reason why I had to move it out of the way is to get to this bracket. All right, say you want to put new hoses on there, you want to take the thing out, replace it, whatever. Or you're doing a hook swap like me. The first thing you do once you're reinstalling it, you want to take some power steering fluid, a little bit of it, and put some around the fittings. And then you begin to put this hose in first. If I were you, I would put the, the bigger end of the hose first because this is much, much more harder and keeps it more sturdy so you put the hose in the bottom of the fitting uh, of the power stirring uh, reservoir put that in first and at the same time make sure your uh, your clamps are oriented in the direction you want to tighten them I prefer them this way Cause I can, I rather move this out the way than possibly have to move anything else this way. All right, so make sure your clamps are oriented in the right direction. Put the fitting down on the power steering reservoir first, and then uh, with enough lube, you should be able to fit it in there. Like me, I put it on in, and then I just tilt it like this. Let's see, can I get you a good angle here? Just tilt it like this, and you can just put it down just like that. Then tighten your hoses down, but I'm not gonna tighten nothing down yet until I get this other one on. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. This one is much more easier. Take a little bit of power stirring fluid, rub some on the fitting here, and rub some on the fitting here. You would want to uh, fit this end in here first and then you can just be able to push it down here so just come in and just you know you better fit it in now I'm going to use two hands for this you can see it's kind of sliding up pretty good so hold on a second And voila. Okay, so basically, there I just was twisting it, you know, almost like screwing it in. Just kept twisting, 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 twisting. And now this should be looped up enough and it should go down pretty good. Just fit it in here, just kind of just wobble it. Be careful with it. And there we go. Yeah, do a little bit more. After you're done with that, put your clamps on. 
Make sure you have your clamps down here too. And that's it. Put it in there and just, we're just gonna, we, 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 oh, it's tight. Oh. 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 I didn't know it was gonna be this tight like this. I, you should have told me. Just.